So this, so I'm in the chapter 17 notes project and, and I'm going, we're not looking at the binary tree at the moment. We're looking at the tree class. So we're going back to the tree class. So we, we coded this a few days ago. Um, and if we scroll through all the code we wrote, there's a comment at the bottom that says additional methods will be added in later sections. And later sections are now. Um, so what we're going to create is an interface um, inside of this tree class. So we've written like inner classes. Here we're writing kind of an inner interface. Um, so let's write a java.com and explaining what we're doing. We're going to create a visitor whose visit method is called for each visited node during a tree traversal. Traversal. So we'll say public. This needs to be public because we expect clients of this class to implement this interface. So we have to make the interface public. So public interface visitor. And the interface is going to have one method that whoever implements the visitor interface has to implement. Um, and this will be the visit method. So we'll say this method is called for each visited node. It takes one parameter called data, data, which is the data of the node being visited. Okay. So void visit takes one parameter of type object. Now to be clear here, someone else is going to implement the visitor interface. And therefore, they're going to implement the visit method. And all they know is that as the tree is being traversed, their visit method is going to be called. And they're going to be provided the data for that node. And they can do whatever they want with that. They can calculate a sum. They can calculate an average. They can do whatever algorithm analysis they want with the data of that node. Now, we've defined the interface that our clients are going to implement so they can basically add their application logic to our tree data structure. But in order for this to work, um, we need to provide a method. So, like we need to provide a method to traverse the tree. Um, There we go. So we need to add another method. So I am not in the visitor interface anymore. We're done with that. Super simple interface, one method. But we need to provide public methods on our tree class so our clients can actually traverse a tree. We're just going to write one together right now. Um, we're going to focus on the pre-order. So let's write a java.comment. Traverses this tree in pre-order. one parameter v which is the visitor to be invoked at each node so public void pre-order one parameter of type visitor we are going to call a private static method to actually do the pre-order traversal so we'll just say tree dot pre-order because we need to specify the root of the tree and the visitor. We have to know like where to start. And we'll, we'll write this method in a second. If we would normally write a pre-order public method like this and a post-order public method like this and an in-order public method like this so that the client, whoever is implementing this visitor interface has the flexibility to traverse the tree in all three of those ways, okay? All right, let's write the java.comment for this private static method. This method traverses the tree with a given root in pre-order. Couple parameters. First one is n, the root of the tree to traverse. Tree to traverse. Second parameter, the 
the visitor to be invoked at each node. So private, static, void, pre-order. So this is our, we've used this pattern, this design before. So this is our static, recursive static helper method, right? We want to do this recursively. Um, we can't make this method recursive because there aren't sufficient parameters. We have to pass along the node. So we write a private static um, recursive helper method to make all of this work. Oh, probably need the parameters here. Node n, visitor b. All right. So terminating condition, if n equals null, there's no node, just return. We're done with our traversal. Otherwise, okay, pre-order. Hmm. In pre-order, we visit the node first, and then we explore the children. That's what makes it pre-order. Okay. So we need to invoke the visit method on the visitor reference provided as a parameter. We need to pass to that the data associated with the current node. That allows our client's visit method to be called. They do whatever calculation they're doing. Then we continue traversing all of the children. So for each child in the node's children, call recursively this method, reorder, passing along the child and the visitor. If we were implementing the post order method, what would we change? How would we rearrange this code to make it post order? Suggestions? We can move one line of code somewhere else, and this will become a post order traversal. Yeah. Say that, I'm sorry. Absolutely. So if we move line 96 v dot visit after the for loop, now it's a post order. That's all it takes, right? So yeah, we're just doing pre order today. But if you wanted to do all of them, it's not that big a deal, right? All right. Very cool. Um, let's try this out. So there is a class already written for us, mostly written for us, called Traversal Demo. Um, we have to uncomment some stuff, but let's kind of look through this together. We're building a tree with Anne, Peter, Zara, and Savannah like we've done before. Um, but there's some commented out code here that we're going to uncomment. So delete that stuff. And what we've done here, the code that's provided for us, is the class short name counter implements the visitor interface defined in the tree class. So implements tree.visitor. This is how we refer to the interface because it's inside of the tree class. So we say tree.visitor. Um, we have an instance variable for our visitor class, which is a counter. We initialize it to zero. We have to implement, and actually we should really say at override. Um, we have to implement the visit method because we are promising to implement the visitor interface. So here's our visit method. In our visit method, we're gonna print the data. And if the length of the string is less than or equal to five, we're gonna increment our counter, okay? So here is a visitor that counts how many short names there are in this family tree, right? We certainly, as Oracle employees, do not want to add to our Java standard library tree class a method that counts names shorter than like five, shorter than or equal, less than or equal to five characters, right? That would be ridiculous. Um, so the visitor pattern helps us do this. Yes, um, not not from like a, a Java gets slow because a class has a lot of methods, um, but more from like a coupling perspective and more from who has to write it, right? So it would be unreasonable. Think of how many thousands of different types of calculations we want to do for a tree. We can't, it, it's totally unmanageable to expect Oracle to implement all of that for everybody. Some of it might be proprietary 
business logic, right? We, we don't want anyone else to know that logic, right? Um, so we have to decouple the algorithm from the data structure. Not because of any like performance or like Java syntax issue, but more just from the practicality of being able to develop that stuff independently. Yeah, great question. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Yes, it would get huge on embedded systems. That could be a big deal. What would happen in practicality is if we didn't have something like the visitor pattern, people would write their own tree class every time they needed to do something, which is also like horribly inefficient, right? So, um, so here we've defined our class that implements the visitor interface. We're going to create a new instance of it, a new object. We're going to invoke the pre-order method on our tree, pass along the visitor, and then at the very end, after this finishes, we will print out the counter so we can see how many short names there are. So when I run this, as the visit method is being called, we see it print Anne, Peter, Savannah, and Zara. That is the pre-order order. order. Um, and it counts three names that are less than or equal to five characters. And the cool thing is like, what if we decide we want less than or equal to like four characters? we can change just this code here in the visitor and we don't have to touch the tree. That's the power of the visitor pattern. So it decouples like the algorithm in terms of the, anal the analysis algorithm of the data in the tree from the data structure itself, which is cool. Yeah, we absolutely should. Um, and our tree should be a generic and our node should be a generic. We're just kind of leaving generics out. Be, just try to simplify things a little bit. To be totally honest, I'm, I'm reconsidering that decision and, and maybe future years because we've just done generics in the maze lab. Like they're not scary anymore, right? So maybe like at this point we should be doing generics for everything. Yeah, I'm considering that. But you're right, we absolutely should. All right.